Hello. So we are going to see the another question of NEET 2021, 100% strike rate. A clinician clinically diagnosed a case of brucellosis and ordered standard agglutination test for brucellosis. It's called SAT, SAT B, standard agglutination test. It showed negative, okay. But after serial dilution of the serum, it become positive. Choose the correct cause for this condition. You can deal by two ways. One based on immunology and brucella. It's an agglutination test. You know the basic definition of agglutination. It is nothing but particulate antibody. Particulate antigen reacts with specific antibody at optimum. Yes, these points are very important. Optimum concentration. Optimum pH, optimum temperature, and optimum in the presence of electrolytes. And they produce an insoluble deposit, is end product is called insoluble deposit, is called agglutination. The key terminology is particle to antigen is there, antibody is there at optimum concentration. Because when you are mixing the antigen antibody, there are three possibilities. Sometimes antibody will be excess, sometimes antigen will be excess, or sometimes both are equal. When they are both are equal, that time only you can get the reaction. Just the presence of antigen antibody won't get the reaction. So Brucella produces enormous amount of antibody. If you add the Brucella antigen, the antibody will be excess, you won't get the reaction. You may give false negative. See the picture for better understanding. This is a picture I show in the class regularly. People are aware of that. We have standard amount of antibody. Patient serum has antibody. When you add the antigen, increasing the antigen, see antigen amount is increased. In the first zone, see carefully, in the first zone, what is excess? Antibody is excess. That means same amount of antibody. Comparing with antigen, antibody is excess. In this zone, both are equal. In this zone, antigen is excess. So, these two zones, you won't get the reaction. It, you, you can't get the reaction. This zone, you can get the reaction. Because in the optimal concentration, we are getting lattice formation. We call it as lattice formation. The lattice formation seen in optimum concentration. Okay, the first zone where the antibody excess is called prozone. The antibody excess is called prozone. Because of prozone, even though the presence of antibody, the test will be negative. It may give false negative. How to overcome? You need to overcome serial dilution. Serial dilution of the serum. That's the best method. Or you can add extra antigen. That's not possible. Difficult. You can dilute the serum. So when you dilute the serum, at which concentration the antibody antigen meets optimum concentration, you can get the reaction. Because of the reason, later after serial dilution, when they meet the optimum concentration, it becomes positive. That's the reason. And in Brucella, False negative due to three reasons. There are three reasons are there. Number one, antibody excess. We call it as prozone phenomena. The test is negative because of antibody excess. We call it as prozone phenomenon. How to overcome this? You can dilute the serum, serial dilution. Serial dilution of the serum. Number two is some of the blocking antibodies will be there.
how to overcome you can preheating of the serum before test you can heat the serum preheating of the serum number 3 is incomplete antibodies when incomplete antibodies are there you need to use anti human antibody coombs agent coombs reagent it is nothing but anti human globulin so these are the three possible causes we can get false negative and here they can clearly give it is initially it was negative when serial dilution it become positive it is mainly due to prozone phenomenon where the antibody is excess if the antigen is excess that is called post zone phenomenon if the antibody is excess that is called post zone phenomenon so based on this understanding if you see clearly incomplete antibody also cause false negative blacking antibody also cause false negative but the remedy is not by serial dilution based on the serial dilution it become again positive which strongly indicates prozone phenomenon prozone phenomenon seen in many serological test brusella trypanoma pallidum many conditions we can get prozone phenomenon if you strongly suspect if the test is negative dilute the serum even the dilution negative then we can say it is negative there is no antibodies present hope you people made the question right thank you see you with one more question